I have my Google form right here, but now I need to get it to my students. And the question is, how am I going to do that? Let's focus in on the send button. So what I want to do is click send, and you'll notice I have some options here. Uh, I can send via email. I don't want that. I can embed this into a web page. I don't want that. I just want to copy the link. Notice it gives me a very complicated link down here. All I really want to do is copy this link. Your steps on this may be different from mine, depending on what operating system you're using. But I'm do copying that link, and what I'm going to do is go over to my Google Classroom. So here I am in my Google Classroom site, and this is probably the easiest way to make sure that all of my students can access my Google Form. And I'll go down here to the bottom right, and I'll create an announcement. Let me type something. And now you notice I have all these options at the bottom of a Google Classroom announcement that I can choose, and I want to attach a link. And I will paste that link right there and add it. And all I have to do now is click post, and you can see right there in the stream for my Google Classroom is the link to my form. And this is the way that I share most forms in my class. You can do this in Edmodo. If you've got a website and you'd like to put up a link in HTML, you can do that as well. Now let's say, all right, you don't have Google Classroom, you're looking for a different tool. Maybe you want to just send out that URL to everyone, but boy, it looked really long. So, if that's the case, another thing you can do is go to goo.gl and shorten the link. So, I'm going to paste my long link here, tell Google I'm not a robot, shorten it, fantastic. That's something I can put up on a PowerPoint or a Google slide. If I need to, I can just say, hey, go to this web page. And most people can type that in without any problems. Again, if I'm looking for one more way to try and get out this form to my students, what I could do is I could use a QR code. So let's see, Google, how can I, oh, there we go. I want to generate a QR code. I'm just going to take the first thing that shows up, um, which is qr-code-generator.com. I want to do this for a website. That's great. Thank you. I want to lead my students to a website. Let's put in URL. Let me paste that in. Next step. And now what I can do is just choose how I want to download this, and I would probably download this as a JPEG. So there we go. We've got a couple of different ways that you can distribute this form to your students. If you wish, and you've got Google Classroom, you can just make an announcement in Google Classroom. Make sure your students click on that link in Google Classroom, and they're good to go. Or you can create a shortened link and put that up, say, in a Google slide or in PowerPoint. Or you can create a QR code so your students can use a smartphone or a tablet and follow the link that way.